another section which is more circle plane stripe okay so i will show you how to apply the equation for plane stress transformation using a graphical method or graphical technique which is called as a more circle okay so so let's recall the equation one and equation two which is this one so we have this sigma x prime and tau x x prime y prime okay, so so this is the normal stress the new normal stress acting on the x prime axis and this one is shear stress acting in x prime y prime plane okay and then equation sorry this is equation one okay so equation one can be written in the form of so here so equation one can also be written in this form which is you bring this term which is sigma x plus sigma y over 2 into this side okay so that's mean negative so sigma x prime is sigma x prime minus sigma x plus sigma y over 2 is equals to sigma x minus sigma y over 2 cosine 2 theta plus tau xy sine 2 theta okay and this is equation number 9 okay so next each sides of equation 9 and equation 2 can be squared and add up together okay so let's square the equation number nine first okay so yeah. it is equals to sigma x prime minus sigma x plus sigma y divided by two square and then sigma x minus sigma y over two cosine two theta plus tau x y sine two theta square okay so you square this one and then you will get like this okay so next is you square the equation number two which is this one so now we have tau x prime y prime square is equals to negative sigma x minus sigma y over two sine two theta plus two tau x y cos two theta square okay and it is equals to like this and then we add this two together okay Okay, so we add these two together and now we have the equation is like this and then these terms can be eliminated because this is negative and this is positive so we can just eliminate it and then this is the remain terms in this equation and using trigonometric identity which is cos sine square 2 theta plus sine square 2 theta is equals to 1 okay so is equals to 1 so so this is 1 and this is also 1 so you can write this one again here sigma x prime minus sigma x plus sigma y over 2 square plus tau xy tau x prime y prime square and then is equals to so this one you substitute again here sigma x minus sigma y over 2 square okay because this one is already becomes 1 this one also already becomes 1 so plus tau xy square and we know that this one is sigma average and this one is r square okay so we can simplify this equation to become equation number 10 which is sigma x prime minus sigma average square and then plus tau x prime y prime square is equals to r square okay so this is the more circle okay 
and it is represented by sigma exists and tau exists. Sigma exists in the vertical, in the horizontal exists, and tau for the vertical exists. So normally we assume that to the right side is positive value, and downward side is positive value. Okay, so this is the circle which is having a center at here which is called SC. Okay, so the distance between this origin to the point C is represented by the value of sigma average which is equal to sigma x plus sigma y over 2. Okay, and then the triangle shape is constructed in the circle. So let's say it is represented by this blue triangle which is having point P here and the distance or the coordinate of point P is determined by the value of sigma x in horizontal axis and tau xy. So that means P is having coordinates of sigma x tau x y okay and then so since this from here to here is sigma x and from the origin to c is sigma average equals to sigma x plus sigma y over 2 so we can get this value simply by subtract sigma x with sigma average okay so you will get this sigma x minus sigma y over 2 okay so it is important to uh, know that the r which is the radius from c to d can be calculated by the square root of square sigma x minus sigma y over 2 okay sigma x minus sigma y over 2 square plus tau x y square okay and then we make it square root of square root and then you will get the value of r which is the radius of the circle okay okay so now i will show you how to the procedure for the construction of ball circle okay so first is the con procedure for construction of the circle okay so first you have to establish a coordinate system indicating the normal stress sigma which is here and the shear stress tau okay which is here both stress scales must be identical okay so as I said in as I said previously, okay. So sigma is in positive value to the right side, and tau is in positive value if it is going down, okay. And second procedure is you have to locate the center C, okay, center point C of the circle on the horizontal axis. Uh, which is uh, having a distance of sigma average sigma x plus sigma y over 2 from the origin okay so so this is point c where so this is point c where the distance is equals to sigma average okay and then locate point A by coordinates of sigma x and tau xy, which is first using sigma x. Okay, so and then sigma uh, tau xy. Okay, so this is point A where it where it is having a coordinate of sigma x and tau x y okay and then you can connect okay you can connect the point c and a and this is now become a radius so this is the radius for the 
circle so once you know the radius of the circle you can draw a circle with the center at C and a radius of R which is equal to CA okay. so you can draw the circle at point C with having the radius R as like this okay next is the procedure to determine the principal stress so first the principal stress to sigma 1 and sigma 2 where sigma 1 is larger than sigma 2 are located at the intersections of the circle and sigma exists represents by point B and point D as you can see in this figure. So this is the intersection point B and point D. So either one is sigma 1 and sigma 2 okay where sigma 1 is larger or equals to sigma 2 okay and then you can determine to theta p1 which is represented by the angle between ca between this line ca and cb okay so this is cb so the angle is representing 2 theta p1 okay as you can see here from ca to cb the angle is oriented counterclockwise so it will be positive value and then using trigonometry trigonometry you can define what is the value for 2 theta p one and divide by two you will get what is the value for theta p one and then the rotation of two theta p which is um, orientation of principal plane represent the same direction of rotation theta p from the reference axis plus x to the principal plane plus x prime okay as you can see here okay so just now the angle is oriented counterclockwise so now theta p1 is also oriented counterclockwise and same goes to theta p2 which is counterclockwise so which is counterclockwise so this is original x and this is uh, x prime and then Okay, and then how to determine the maximum inflation stress from the Mohr circle? Okay, first, the average normal stress and maximum inflation stress components can be determined from the circle as coordinates of either point E or point F, as here. So, the top of the circle and bottom of the circle means that this is the value for the average normal stress okay so you can choose either one which is this one is sigma average and then the angle 2 theta s1 can be determined using the trigonometry which is measured from the line CA to the line of CE so this one is 2 theta S1 okay as in this figure theta is happen to rotate in clockwise okay and if the rotation happen to be clockwise theta S1 must also be clockwise in the element like this so this is theta s1 so it also must be rotated clockwise in the element 